very, very good news for them as Indian Tigers going out means that they have the chance to strike back now. Gemzi has been revived. So it's a two versus three here, still towards this inner position of the tiny little compound. Smokes are going to be to fade. I keep saying that, but it seems like we constantly have more smokes. But speaking of smoke, Smokey this time versus Nia are going to be taken oh, yeah. down. Seemed like easy work there for him as he's going to go for more. Azik spots out another player. Smokey will go down, eventually be killed. But not before the trade comes in onto Neo. However, Mazik's teammate has been killed. He was beginning to believe, but he wasn't able to make the jump. Godlike eliminating the brawlers as well. Evil big fellas, sorry, as they go down. Everyone's starting to fall. This rotation is moving up north again. You can see the shift heading towards Pain official once more. Ash is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. He's over on the north side, just using Rip official as his bodyguard. Zone is still coming in as we begin phase Team six. IND. It's gone even more north. Team IND are getting a lot of damage chucked their way. They're still in it, but they've only got one player remaining. One player indeed. As we have Entity Gaming below them, Pain Retribution above them, Rip Official still on four with a very good position. Behind them is Ash as well, the sole player from Aether. So he's going to be collecting placement points for his team. Towards the bottom of the range is going to be Insidious. These are your kill stats so far. The one standing out for me would be Pain Retribution on seven. A really strong showing from them, and they're sat at the bottom of the table at the moment. Make that eight as well. They are going to come back up, but Entity Gaming, they're going to be pretty happy with their performance at the moment. They have a really strong position on the Southwest. They're going to be trying to fight off against Rip Official, who are up a little bit higher than them. But it's very difficult for both of these teams to be fighting with each other. Which team has the advantage, John? The high or the lower ground? I would say, in general, the high ground is always going to have the advantage because you can choose when you take the fight. Right? You can you can dictate the pace of it. Insidious getting eliminated there in seventh is Cartoon's fault. Indeed, six teams remaining now. Another airdrop going to be down. Not sure what's inside it as of yet, but here's your survival team ID. One player, eight B one player as well. Learn from past on single player as well. But apart from that, four players on Rip Pain Eight Bit. Sorry, excuse me. Team Entity. So this is a great game for Empty. You consider the... Team in now. What? IND fall over in sixth place as it was just Scout remaining. He moves for the push. The blue was getting the pressure on his back. He will fall down. As they go out in sixth, not the best performance. But remember, Soul went down a lot earlier. This is a big game for Team Entity. They must understand the weight of this. How close they were for top three versus Tigers. Now, early Tigers went out. Oh but as I say, that caster's curse. Magazine's going to be down. Existence may be able to revive him here, but Paratosh goes for the side angle. Oh, he's going slowly slithering around to the side as he's crouched up. Lands a few shots there onto Existence. Tempest is going in for the fight as well, but Existence pops up, goes for the trade. A lot of damage onto Paratosh. The rest of Entity Gaming, they need to start to come in. White and Deja Vu, they need to back up their team. White from above. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Nearly dropped down too far there. Swag didn't quite see it. And Swag's just been sitting there comfortably for the remainder of this game. He's the last member of Learn From Past. But White, he's going to spot him out. MVP from the last game. Because he has got Deja Vu there to back him up as well. Wow, look how far back Pain are. The next circle is just going to kill them off, surely. They, yeah, they are. No, well, they're still in the next one. They are going to get closed on. They're right down the bottom of the hill, though. And remember what I was talking about high ground before? They are going to start to move on forwards. Entity Gaming, they're going to be pushed off here. Oh dear, down they go like lemmings off the cliff. Unfortunately for them, it's going to be very, very difficult, but they've made their way to the top five already. They still have two players up on that high ground, but they are going to get eliminated down and out in fifth. I believe that's... Oh no, wait, Entity Gaming, they're still going, they're still going. They've managed the ladder up all the way to four. My goodness. Sky is well up close to who? As his pain AMD... Towards the bottom there as well. In terms of who's alive, 8-Bit Ash is still alive. Pain Retribution have four. Rip have three. Grenade going to be going in towards the airdrop, but Ash has moved back. Sky is on the cliff face. He's pretty isolated there. If they lob a nade up, Rip official could be down and out. Pain Retribution, by the way, 11 frags. But Ash, he's still alive. Remember him? He's coming back to bite. He's going to go for another trade. Oh. The AK not quite able to get it down. It's Paratosh. Still gets third there for his team, and that's exactly what they wanted. Now it's Rip. Official versus Pain. Two from Rip Official, four from Pain Retribution, but Rip, Sky, and Paratosh have the high ground bar. Paratosh is down. Sky can't revive him. It's pretty much a one versus four here, John. Unless Paratosh dra dropped down towards where Sky was, there's no way they could get there. And unfortunately, though, Sky is isolated on this cliff face. He's going to have to pull out a miracle. Let's see. If there's a will, there's a way. When he throws that grenade, he will telegraph exactly where he is. I think they did know. You can see there's the yeah, Molotov. Yeah, here's the Molotov. Oh, he could actually revive Paratosh here. 
Yeah. Just behind cover. In terms of the angle, as you said, they can choose when they Comes fight. Comes an eight. Here he goes. Oh, oh just a just little short. bit too low. Yeah, so Sky is going to revive Paratosh. And now we're into a two versus four. He is going to get up. They're going to try and heal. Circle eight. It's going to zone on towards oh my Rip, uh, Pain again. It's going to push Rip off the edge. And they need to take the fine soon. They need to take it soon, indeed. Paratosh is so low. One tick from the blue zone will take him down. You can see Ash trying up. to shoot the edge, trying to force out and draw out the peak. But Payne are very lucky to get the circle as they can just sit tight and wait for both the players, Paratosh and Sky, to be pincered and forced out of the blue zone. Going to be going towards the right side instead. And draw this out as long as possible. It looks like Payne might be out of nades. No, one more goes on up and they are going to pop it down. You can see the smoke's going to be preparing for their drop here. So they're trying to isolate some positions and they're going to figure out where they want to go down and how they're going to be able to go for the cover. Nice smoke drop down on top of them as well. The Molotov stops one of the potential drops, but Payne just spraying straight on through the smoke. There comes the reload. Rip official still not opting to drop yet. Not dropping, not dropping just yet. They still have a few precious seconds left. The zone will force them to drop off though onto the car. This is not... Super top level play from Pain. Of course, they're all firing at once, meaning that there is a reload window for Rip Official to drop down. And here it comes. Sky gonna be dropping down straight to his demise, though, all down to Paratosh. One versus four, and yeah, oh, he's he gonna goes. go down as well. Pain take it, even though they're towards the bottom of the standings. They at least win one game. You can see the relief on their face as well, just enjoying the moment. They get it done in the end, and a lot of kills going their way. I think in the end it was.